Did you find your paper, crayons, and a pencil? Even if you have just crayons, you can still use your crayons for what we'll be doing. So today, we'll be drawing a house. And as you can see, we have a blank paper. Now you're going to need something with a straight edge. So either a book or a ruler will do. Something with a straight edge because the first shape we'll be drawing in our house is a square. Remember we said a square has four equal sides. I'm going to take my straight edge there, trying to get the sides as equal as possible there. You can ask your mom or dad for help or even your big sister or your big brother. Someone who can draw a really straight line. Or just draw your very best square. Okay, so I have my square. And then I'm going to need to draw a roof for my house. And I want it to look like a triangle. So I take my, well it's not a ruler, but it's my card that has a straight edge. And I'm gonna draw one line there. And one line here. Oops. And one line here. And remember, a triangle has three sides. So we are using this one as the third side for the triangle. So we have one, two, three sides, and so we have the triangle. So we have a triangle and a square. What else do we need in our house? That's right, we need a door. So I'm gonna use my straight edge and draw another small rectangle for my door. Yeah, to need a door, so I'm going to use my straight edge to draw a rectangle. And remember, a rectangle has two long sides. Trying to make these sides longer and two short sides. So I'm trying to make the end pieces shorter. And there we have a door. Let me draw a doorknob. So that's just a little circle for our doorknob to open the door and close the door. So now we have a square, a triangle, a rectangle, and a circle. What else do we need in a house? That's right, we need windows. Now some homes have circles for windows and some homes have squares for windows and some homes have rectangles. But you can pick any shape you would like for your windows. Hmm. I think I will draw two squares for my windows.
So now we have a square, a big square, a triangle for a roof, a rectangle for a door, a circle for a doorknob, and two squares for windows. Wow! Look at our beautiful house. Now, what time is it where you are? Is it daytime or is it close to nighttime? Let's pretend that it's nighttime. At night, what shape can we see? We have a moon that's round and we also have stars in the sky. I have an idea. Let's draw some stars over the roof of our house. Okay, draw a star. We draw one pointy edge, another pointy edge, a third pointy edge, a fourth pointy edge, and a fifth pointy edge. Wow! Let's draw another star over here. One pointy edge, a second pointy edge, a third pointy edge, a fourth pointy edge, and a fifth pointy edge. And we have two stars. Wow. What a beautiful house. You can continue adding to your house if you'd like. But for all the time we have today, I'm going to jump right into coloring this house. So what color should I use for the stars? Hmm, I think I'll use the color yellow. Yellow. One yellow star. And I'm trying to color in the line, not outside the line. Wow. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. We have two stars, two yellow stars. Now, what color should I pick for my roof? Hmm. I think I'll use the color red. Red roof. Wow! I have my yellow stars and my red roof. Hmm, now, what color should I pick for my windows? Did you ever see a house with green windows? Trying my best to stay in the line, in the square. I'm staying in the square. I'm not coloring outside of the square. And now we have 
one green window. Let's make the next one green. Two green windows. What color should I pick for the house? For the whole house, for the walls of the house? I think I'll pick a color blue. You can pick whatever color you like. And if you like to share your picture with me, you can ask your mom or dad to send Teacher D a copy of your special house with all special colors that you picked. So much fun. Wow. So now we have two yellow stars, one red roof, two green windows, blue walls for the house. And for the door, I think I'll pick. color purple a purple door for doing art and craft with me. I had so much fun and I hope you did too. And if you're not done coloring, keep coloring. Now that's all the learning fun I have for you today. Goodbye my little friend.